Previously on Game of Thrones. You'd help the Second Sons. Guide them into Marine. I can't, Asha. This could be our only chance. Get them into the city, help them liberate Marine, and I will see that you are rewarded. No! I'm... I... I'm a friend. Don't move. This is my sister. Sylvie. I have to get in there, Sarah. Lord Whitehill is up to something. He's conspiring against my family. And someone in there is helping him. Andros is hiring sellswords. Hundreds of them. What? He's building an army for Lord Whitehill, big enough to march against Ironrath. Talia, I may be leaving you here with a traitor. Find out who it is. Rodri! I'm told you're a man who can't be broken. I've decided to come see for myself. I was just telling your sister. Father's been looking to make a match for me. And Talia's been such good company. Think she likes me? Or maybe your mother? Her flower plucked is still a flower. Just dies more quickly. We could be a family, Lord Forrester. You'd like that, wouldn't you? Your mother may need some convincing. She seems like the type to hold a grudge. You'll never marry either of them. Never's such an awfully long time. But let's put our happy day to the side for a moment. Walk with me. Oh. You won't need your sword. Not where we're going. I'm not going without my sword. I'm afraid you are. Here, I'll help you. <laughs> there. <sighs> Doesn't that feel better? Oh, you're coming too. This is Lord's business, not a child's. I say she comes. I don't trust her with my men. How fares your father, Lord Bolton? Better than yours. <laughs> Polite of you to ask. I loved playing in the woods when I was your age. Still do. So many places to hide. I've gotten very good at finding people. Roderick? It's all right, Talia. That reminds me. Where's Griff? I expected to be greeted by him on my arrival. Bit of a disappointment to have to show myself in. And here I had such high hopes for Ludson. Griff and his men are under guard. They have no place here. They do, if I say they do. Oh, I really hoped things might be different with you. I hoped we could be friends. After all, I was generous. I've allowed you to keep half your forest. Your livelihood. Yet you went behind my back and called in the Glenmores. 
I'm not sure how you managed that. The Glenmores have sworn their loyalty to my father. The Glenmores came to us. We never asked for their help. Oh? Perhaps I need to have a word with Lord Glenmore. Well, I'm certainly glad we've sorted this out. Thank you for being so forthcoming. But there's still a price. Ah. Here we are. Arthur! Roderick! You disobeyed me. You disrespected me. Someone has to pay! You didn't think it would be you, did you? Your damaged goods. Someone else's leftovers. No one has to pay. Let's just keep talking. I'm bored of talking. <laughs> no! Stop! <laughs> Look at what you've done. I hope it was worth it. Is it worth it, Arthur? Please stop! <laughs> please, please! Talia, don't look away. No! It's very important you see what comes of disobedience. Roderick, make him stop! Please, do something! Don't look! Please. Look at him, Talia. <laughs> See what your brother's done. Please, please, Lord Ramsay. Sorry, but they'll never learn otherwise. Mercy, have mercy! Mercy, my lord! Did Roderick show mercy to Griff? This is his fault. That's a lot of blood. Stop. What's that, Talia? I can't hear you. Poor lads fainted. Let's give him a minute. <laughs> you want to kill me, don't you? Release him. Go on. Prove how strong you are. Do it for Ethan. No, Roderick. He's toying with you. Do it. Your little brother had bigger balls than you. I came here to kill you, but now I realize it might be far more entertaining to watch Lud tear you to pieces. I never want to come back to this fucking shit stain of a hold fast. I have better things to do than to play wet nurse to you and Lud. So you'll settle this on your own. Last house standing. Wins. Otherwise, I'll kill you both and be done with it. You're insane. At least I'm not you. And one more thing. No! <laughs> Can't leave a job half finished. Ah, ready the horses. Not sure you'll have much luck finding other allies.
Only a monster would do such a thing. The Boltons will pay for this. Innocent blood shed on Forrester lands. What would father think? I keep asking myself what we've done to deserve such hate. Did we bring it on ourselves? Or is this house just cursed? Arthur was hardly more than a boy. The Glenmore Guard are gone. Ordered home by Ramsay. So much for having allies. Ramsay says he's not taking sides anymore. He means to let the strongest house survive. I intend that to be us, Duncan. But can we even fight them? We don't have the numbers. We don't yet have Ryan back. And if Mir is right about an army from the south... We'll worry about that after we get Ryan back. Once we've made the trade, then we can start to... Where is he? Where is my brother? My lady. My lady. Let me through! Elena. Roderick, tell me where he... Oh, no. No. Oh, no. No, Arthur, no! Arthur! It's my fault. I brought him into this. I asked him to help. He did this for me! I'm so sorry, Elena. I know how much he meant to you. He meant everything, Roderick. He was my little brother. I was there the day he learned to hold a bow. He was so nervous that father called him Quiver. And now, to die, like this, tortured, mutilated. He died as he lived, bravely, as a man of the North. He died in agony and for nothing. Look at him, Roderick. There's hardly anything left of him. Elena. I'm sorry. Let's get you someplace, Paul. How do I do this, Roderick? How do I keep going? Where do I find the strength? Pain fades in time. Never fully. But enough. I don't want it to fade. I don't want to forget him. You won't. How could you? You've been such a friend to me, Roderick. Right from the very beginning. I should try to get some sleep. I'm not sure I'll be able to. But... I don't know what else to do. I understand. Sleep well, Elena. You're our guest here. For as long as you need. Thank you, Roderick. That, that means a lot. you are. I haven't seen you since the coronation feast. How many ships do you suppose it takes to move an army? Ships? Why in the world would you... Never mind. Mira, I'll be honest. 
I took an enormous risk, defying Marjorie to get you into that feast. And you thank me by making a scene with Lord Andros in front of everybody. Marjorie saw, of course, and she knew exactly how you got there. Andros was the one doing the yelling. You can't blame me for his poor manners. I'm sure you gave him good reason. Just as you do everyone. Marjorie included. Which is why it's not safe for me to be around you anymore. What? Mira, you're not the girl I knew at Highgarden. She'd never be so reckless. And now that Garibald and I are discussing marriage, I just can't risk being associated with you. Not anymore. You know how much I need this marriage. That's fine by me. I don't need friends who get so easily overwhelmed. It makes me sad to hear you talk like that. Was it worth it, at least? Sacrificing so much for your family. They're still in very grave danger, I'm afraid. Well, I know you'll do everything in your power to protect them. To go before she sees me. She will be a forester. Can I help you? You need to come with me. Now. Why would I? Don't make this difficult. I thought you'd be happier. I'm glad he's dead. Felt good plunging the knife in at least. But it doesn't feel like I expected. I thought I'd feel lighter or something. It may have cost me a lot. I know. Thanks, Asha. Oh, we should never have come here. This city. It only holds pain for me, Asha. I was hoping to bury it all with Dezor's corpse. I can't imagine what it must have been like. Please, I don't want to talk about it again. Asher, you're back. <laughs> Uncle. Let's collect our second sons and get out of here. If you did as you were told, Daenerys should deliver. Daenerys, huh? First names with the Queen now, are we? Your Grace, my nephew has returned from his mission. It seems you played your part in the taking of Marine, Asher Forrester. Did you run into any trouble? Reports from the battle are muddled. Perhaps you can clear them up. Well, my time is short. No battle is without difficulty, Your Grace. But we fulfilled your orders. All of them? I heard rumors of an incident in the city. Do you know anything about it? Your Grace, we encountered the slave master, Dizorzo Raza, on the way to the signal tower. I regret that he lost his life. Oh, don't fucking... You admit it, then? The punishment for defying a queen is death. And yet you come to me for a reward. Why should I let this pass? Don't you dare. What do you have to say for yourself? Don't. Because Beska was Dizor's slave. For years. Damn you, Asher. She deserved her revenge as much as any slave in Marine. You have my sympathies. Keep your pity, Dragon Queen. Give us soldiers and we'll be gone. I apologize for her, Your Grace. It's all right, Malcolm. I do not hold it against her or you. You have proved yourselves in battle. And while you disobeyed my orders, you had good reason. 
Unfortunately, I cannot spare my second sons. What? But your grace, the mission was a success. I need every soldier to hold Marine. What did I tell you? She was never going to help us. You promised me Croft and his second sons. Which is why I'm not going to let you leave here empty-handed. I cannot give you my cell swords, but I will give you the next best thing. This gold will be of use. Perhaps you can find the swords you need in Marine. Thank you, Your Grace. We promise to put it to good use. I'm sure you will. A new day is born in Marine. The slaves have thrown off their colors. There are fighters among those who used to be bound. On behalf of the Foresters and the Branfields, I thank you. See that you are ready when I return to Westeros. I have other plans for you, Malcolm. Plans for me, Your Grace? Plans that will help House Forrester, I hope. I would like you to stay and serve me. I have a task for you. Your Grace, I... I am humbled. But I owe my allegiance to my family. And they will be grateful for the Targaryen alliance you've helped forge. I am honored you would ask me. Might I discuss it with my nephew first? Do so. But let me know your answer soon. You'd seriously consider staying in Essos? I'm not sure. This is all rather sudden. But if she does come to Westeros, we'd want Daenerys Targaryen on our side. You've made a good start with her. I could strengthen that bond. It's worth thinking about, you have to admit. You're right, Uncle. The Mother of Dragons would make a powerful ally. If she succeeds in taking the Iron Throne, she'll be the only ally we need. But whatever comes of this, we still need men who will fight for us now. The Queen thought we might find them here, among the newly freed. Don't even think about it. You just couldn't keep your fucking mouth shut, could you? Had to tell her everything. You sold me out for a chest of gold. They're just words, Beska. They can't make you bleed. It was my secret to share. You don't know shit. I know you're the toughest person I've ever fought alongside. Your past can't hurt you anymore. Move on. We still have soldiers to fight. <sighs> the little queen is right. Marine holds plenty of killers. And I know the worst. So what are we waiting for? Let's go get them. I don't know, Asher. They're not like us. To them, killing is a sport. It's fun. Let them have fun with the White Hills, then. As long as they kill them, I don't care. Don't say I didn't warn you. I must talk further with the Queen. Don't get yourselves killed. So, where exactly are we going? Well, these fighters used to be slaves. If I had to guess, I'd say they'll be trying to live like masters. It's getting worse, isn't it? But we're only about a few days out from the Antler River. We cross a bridge the first men built. And from there, we can try to find the North Grove. Uh, right, Sylvie? We're not going north. We're going south to join Mance and the rest of the Free Folk. But look. That was always the plan, Cotter. I can't go south. The Night's Watch will have my head. Better than losing it to a White Walker. Sylvie, he's come a long way. 
He knows what he's doing. Does he now? Tell me then. How did my brother get that gash in his arm? You dressed his wound up well enough. But why did he get hurt in the first place? What does that have to do with the... Hush, Cotter! I'm asking Fishface here. Sylvie! Don't Sylvie me. I want to hear it from him. Some wildlings. Uh, free folk. Uh, mistook Cotter for a crow. Can't imagine why. We tried to reason with them and... Well, well, things got out of hand. Out of hand? From the look of him, he was nearly killed? Point is, you don't belong out here. Sylvie, I've known Gadded a while now. He may not be one of us, but I trust him. I've been waiting months for you, Cotter. And when you finally come home, it's with some crow who can barely build a fire. No, we don't need to die for him. Well, we've made it this far, haven't we? Getting here was the easy part. The further north you go, the more likely you'll never come back. It's just not worth it. Once Cotter's fit to travel, we head south. With or without you, Garrod. Sylvie! You need to rest. And we'll be wanting something to eat. I won't go far. Oh, don't be angry, Garrett. This isn't what it looks like. I can explain. First I find out you're a wildling. Now you've got a sister. What else are you hiding? Nothing. I swear. I thought she could help. Sylvie knows these woods better than I do. If anyone can find the North Grove, it's her. And besides... I couldn't just leave her. I won't do that. Not again. Then convince her to go with us. She's your sister. Well, maybe she's right. Maybe you don't belong up here. You don't mean that. So that's it. I can't head north without a guide. I go where she goes. I'm sorry, Garrett. I wonder if she's ever seen an eye spider. Whew. Hope not. Oh, this is that stuff Cotter was drinking. I wonder why she doesn't wear it. Don't know why you'd want this around. Got it. Why didn't you just tell me the truth? That you came here to find your sister? I wanted to, but... I didn't think you'd understand. I couldn't risk it. I'm sorry. How's your arm feeling? Decent, I'd say. Why'd you ask? 
Oh, you mean this one? <laughs> yeah, it's shit. You and your sister, you, uh... You don't look much alike. The white hair and... I know what you're getting at. So you may as well just say it. I, I just wondered. She was born like that. My mother used to call her Little Moon. The rest of our village thought she was a bad omen. The better of them stayed away from her. The worse? <sighs> Let's just say I'm glad to be rid of them. Why were they afraid of your sister? Same reason you southerners call us wildlings. Same reason you put up that wall to keep us out. People are arseholes. What happened to your village? Did you leave? Well, not by choice. When Sylvie reached two years, they told my mother we weren't welcome anymore. <laughs> she wasn't welcome. I guess they all hoped she wouldn't survive long enough to get a name. <laughs> but she's tough, Sylvie. No way she wasn't gonna make it. Where's your mother now? <laughs> I don't know. Still back at the village for all I know. She tried to send my sister away. Wrapped her up in furs and everything like a good mother would. I left that night when I heard. What is it, Garrid? So you really won't take me north? I want to help you, Garrid. I mean it. But I can't leave her behind. And besides, north of here, I'd be as lost as you. Never met a crow before. Sorry I almost killed you. Might have done you a favor though. Plenty of things want to kill a crow up north. Giants, fens, shadow cats and ice spiders. And the white walkers, of course. A spear sounds nice after all that, doesn't it? I'm not a crow anymore. I left that life behind me. Once a crow, always a crow. That's what they say, anyway. Don't frighten our dinner away. Shit. Mind if I give it a shot? Go ahead. You know how to use that. You're not going to shoot me in the leg, are you? I'll make it do all right. Just be sure to keep it aimed that way. <laughs> Is that what making do means? Maybe next time, Garrod. Well, since we don't have any food... Well, what's this? Your dinner. It won't fill you up, but it'll make you think you're not hungry for a while. At least I don't have to worry about you trying to shoot me. Hmm. 
you ever lost anyone, Garrett? Someone you really cared about? Someone you thought you couldn't live without seeing ever again? Do you know what that's like? I lost everything. My old life. My house. All I ever wanted was to fight for the Foresters. This house? It was important to you? They treated me like one of their own. Cotter and I, we lost everything too. And we nearly lost each other. I didn't think he'd make it back this time. And I won't risk losing him again. Not even for the North Grove. You know something about it, don't you? Only what I've heard. But don't get your hopes up. It's not worth it. Do you know where it is, then? I know where they say it is, but you'd be mad to try and go there. Why is that? A few years back, one of the Ice River clans set out to find it. They'd heard stories. That the cold couldn't touch it. That it's safe, even in the dark of winter. So they'd set out, all full of hope and none of them ever returned. Do you believe the stories? Oh, I forgot. You southerners don't believe in anything you can't see with your own. This looks like the place. <laughs> this is definitely the place. So, who are we dealing with exactly? Pit fighters. Two go in, one comes out. Day after day. No rules, but kill. Anyone who can survive that is capable of anything. They're crazed savages. But one pit fighter is worth any ten cell swords. If you can convince them to fight for you. And that's not going to be easy. Don't expect to charm them or reason with them. You were a pit fighter. If they're anything like you, we'll be just fine. Understand, they are nothing like me. These aren't soldiers. They're animals you unleash. Must make you feel pretty good, seeing the Masters overthrown. They're not gone. They're just on their knees. And when they get back to their feet, they'll be more dangerous than ever. You did what? What the fuck? Trust me, you don't want to get involved, Russia. Oh, one last thing. They're not fond of strangers. Or anyone who shows weakness. Or fear. Maybe they should see a familiar face first. <sighs> if they don't like us coming here uninvited, it will hardly matter who they see first. Well, if it isn't Beska, the fucking basilisk. We just want to talk to Amaya. Okay. But not this one hiding behind your skirt. You've got to the count of three to turn around and walk away. One. Two. You're scary, fat man. Good thing I'm looking for scary. I need fighters like you. Hear that? This little man wants us to fight his battles for him. 
We do what Amaya says. You talk to her. Well, good, because that's exactly what... Hey! Hey! Whoa! 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 want something pretty bad to risk coming in here. So, out with it. Before I decide not to let you leave. Wait, 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 wait. I'm with her. Your friend, Beska, said you two were all partners. Your friend made a big mistake. Amaya, please! Please what? I had a friend once. The Basilisk, but she died a long time ago. I earned my freedom! You walked out on me. On all of us. Fighting side by side, we were goddesses of the pits. But when you're born trash, I guess you can't help going back to the gutter. You have a problem with her? Deal with me. So, what is it that you want? Why shouldn't we rip you to pieces and feed you to the beast? <laughs> My patience wears thin. My enemies in Westeros are powerful and bloodthirsty. Worse than your masters ever were. I need... Feel the soldiers to crush them! You think we're cell swords? We don't fight other people's wars. We are pit fighters! Artists who paint in blood! That was yesterday. The fighting pits have been closed. You're all free now! Free to do what you want! Don't you see that? Yes, we are free. Why would we follow another? We don't have masters anymore! Why would we follow anyone ever again? You all excel at combat, but you know nothing until you've tasted the thrill of war. Waves of men crashing together. Blood and steel. In Westeros, they sing of our great warriors for thousands of years. Amaya, trust me. He's got enough gold for all of you. You want to lead pit fighters? You have to earn their respect first. We don't know who you are until we see you bleed. You're gonna have to show them you can fight. All right. Who? Oh. His name is Bloodsong. He's vicious, fearless, and fast. I've never seen him before. Take a good look there. He's the man who's going to kill your boy. And if I beat him, you and your men will join me in my fight. If you can beat Bloodsong, you'll gain our respect. But no one has ever beat him. Hmm. Right. Well... Suppose I better get this over with. So what are you supposed to be? 
with your little axe and your pretty blonde beard. I'd sooner bend you over to fuck than fight you. Thanks for noticing the beard. Well, come on! Let's see how you die! If I die in there... Yeah? You have a dying wish? This ought to be good. Will you return to Westeros and kill as many White Hills as you can? No. I'll spend all your gold on the finest of whores. Hey! I need those! You'll fight with the weapons we give you. You all see this cockless Westerose? He's come to order us to battle, like our masters did. I kill no man because another orders me to. I kill a man because it pleases me! Let me show you how we dance in Marine. Look, this wasn't my choice. I'm not here to kill anyone. Well, we all know that's true. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that's not what I mean. Choose a weapon and try not to die. Only one of you leaves the pit alive. May the best fighter win. The best would be me! Here, use this. <laughs> Look at the cockroach crawling in the dirt. We all know there's only one way to deal with insects. No weapon worthy of blood song. You won't be so lucky this time. Hate to tell you, but that wasn't luck. <laughs> Are you ready, Westerosi? This is gonna hurt. <laughs> Yours will be a beautiful death! Isn't that something you'd like to say? Hear that, boy? We cannot let the crowd go wanting! I think I can, actually. <laughs> Useless piece of shit! Give me a real weapon! Last chance, Wester. Ready your ears for the song of blood. Don't know what the fuck that means, but I'm gonna have to refuse. Would it help if I stood still? Maybe. Come on, pretty boy. Ugh! <sighs> 
The masters who once held your chains decided who lived and who died. But as you can see, I'm not here to be your master. I chose you for a reason. You're murderous scum. And murderous scum is just what I need. You deserve better than this. You deserve more than to die for someone else's entertainment. Fighting under someone else's rules. I won't hold you back. Fight with me, and there are no rules. If you've got the balls to follow me, we will set sail at dawn. And to those too craven to join me, to hell with you! Your Grace. You're familiar with my brother's chambers, aren't you? 
Certainly you've been here before. You looked rather confused when you came in, as if you didn't know where you were. Yes, Your Grace. I'd like to think we can be honest with one another. However, you're quite the curiosity, aren't you? You profess to be loyal to the Crown, yet you're not very loyal to Lady Marjorie. Have I displeased you, Your Grace? I've heard things. I understand you've been quite busy. Tell me, do you consider yourself an honest, loyal handmaiden? One can never tell with you northern girls. Assuming an honest person exists in King's Landing. It hasn't been easy, Your Grace, but I've done what I've needed to do. Haven't we all? I've done my best to keep an open mind about people like you. Yet, Lucan tells me you invited yourself to Tommen's coronation party. How exactly did that happen? It can't have been easy. I asked a friend to help me. I see. Then you're not above using people to get what you want. Good. Why would you be so reckless as to risk your neck for what? It all seems rather careless, considering the consequences. My family is still very much at risk, Your Grace. It was crucial I attend. Your family. Sometimes that's a convenient lie we tell ourselves. When I suspect your issue with Lord Andros played a part in it. You've been such a busy little handmaiden. I assume Lady Marjorie knew nothing of this. No, Your Grace. This wasn't the first time you've hidden the truth from her. You've no qualms about lying to her, have you? Tell me the truth. Your secret is safe with me. Perhaps I was wrong to call you here. I want answers, not your blank stare. Perhaps I mistook your northern stubbornness for ignorance, but now I see there's more to you. You're a cunning girl, and perhaps you can help me. Your Grace? You're quite friendly with my brother Tyrion. I need you to speak with him before the trial begins. I want to know who he intends to call as a witness on his behalf. Consider it a favor to the Crown, for which we will all be grateful. I would be happy to, Your Grace. It won't be easy. Tyrion is devious. You'll have to hide your intentions, otherwise he'll tell you nothing. You may prove to be a useful little bird to me, assuming you do as you're told. In return, I'll take care of your problem with Lord Andros. Thank you, Your Grace. I never liked the man anyway, and I doubt anyone will miss him. You think we hired this boat for nothing? No, I don't know. That was a rousing speech you gave, little brother. But who knows how much they heard. Ever since you left me to that dragon, I've given a lot of thought to staying here. Leaving you to your Westeros and your foresters. You have? <sighs> I was angry. But you're my family. No matter what, I'd follow you anywhere, little brother. Just try not to get us killed. Think we'd let you live without us, Westerosi? They say your homeland is fat and prosperous. An orchard ripe for plucking. We'll take what we want and kill anyone who stands in our way. Take anything not nailed down. Just not from my house. <laughs> that depends on how nice your house is. I'll show them their beds. I'll be there in a moment. Glad you made it. What choice did I have? You denied me an honorable death. So I must find one. 
in Westeros. Vasco wasn't exaggerating. Malcolm, you're here! And you've found your soldiers. Ironrath will be glad of your return. You came through for them. Just as I knew you would. What does Daenerys want from you? She has a mission for me. But beyond that, she's told me nothing. If I can, I'd like to help her reclaim the Iron Throne. Imagine what an ally she'd be to House Forrester if she succeeds. Living here has made a better man of you, nephew. Perhaps the same will be true for me. There's nothing I can say to make you change your mind. I've made my decision. You are your father's son, Asher. For all your differences, he would be proud. I'll send a raven ahead to Ironrath to let Roderick know you sail for Westeros with, uh, swords. My thoughts will be with you in the fight to come. Asher. Iron from ice. How about fire and blood, Uncle? Isn't that what the Targaryens say? Casting off! Take this. It'll help loosen his tongue. But be careful. He's a tricky little bastard. If he figures out who sent you, he'll tell you nothing. I'll be listening to every word you say. Ah, oh, I ask for brawn, they send me a handmaiden. Well, you're here. You might as well come in. Let me guess. Your family is in grave danger, and you've come seeking my help? Not that I'd be of much use to you. As you can see, I'm at a bit of a disadvantage. I brought you a gift. Wine. You know the way to my heart. And you didn't even have to hide it. Hmm. Doesn't smell poisoned. Poisoned? Cersei would love nothing more than to save herself the trouble of a trial. You don't expect me to drink alone, do you? They never let anyone in to see me. And I've grown tired of talking to myself. You go first. Hmm. Some things are worth dying for. So, why are you here? It's rather unusual for a handmaiden to visit the Black Cells. I've been worried about you, Lord Tyrion. Oh, have you? You may be the only person in all of King's Landing who doesn't want to see my head on a spike. You and Podrick. I have to admit, I've always admired your honesty, but I suspect there's more to you than one might imagine. This is all a ruse, isn't it? Sorry? You're coming here. We both know you have an ulterior motive. You've come to set me free. It's the perfect plan. No one would suspect it of you. <laughs> you found me out. How did you know? You can learn a great deal about someone if you're paying attention. So, tell me. Cersei sent you, didn't she? I know I'm not wrong. The truth, Mira. Are you toying with me? I might ask you the same question. Now tell me the truth. Admit it. Cersei sent you. She left me no choice. She never does. At least you had the courage to tell me the truth. I told you not to run your mouth! Stupid girl. You're acting a fool. 
I owe him the truth. Him? He's nothing now. I'm still a Lannister. And I know plenty of men who'd happily slit your throat. Now, give us a moment. We're not done talking. Imp. What did my sister expect you would learn? Who will testify on your behalf? She's using you. And will continue to do so. Until you no longer prove useful. It's not as if I could refuse her. Cersei is not someone to be trifled with. And what would Lady Marjorie make of your new friendship with my sister? I doubt she'd be pleased. Assuming she doesn't dismiss you immediately. Lady Marjorie will understand. Cersei left me no choice. Let's hope she understands. Because absent her protection, you're in a very precarious position. <clears throat> what should I tell Cersei? She knows the answer better than anyone. No one will testify for me. She's already seen to that. That is the truth of it. Not that it will help you. I appreciate your honesty, Lord Tyrion. And I yours, Lady Mira. Although I doubt my sister will. Enough of this nonsense! You're wasting my time! Out! Now! I wish you well, Lady Mira. Be careful who you trust. Roderick? Roderick, I... I'm sorry. I didn't realize. Oh, Roderick. I didn't know. Talia, can't you knock? Sorry. I should have. It's just, this is urgent, Roderick. I'm listening. Last night, I couldn't... I was having nightmares. So I... Go on, Talia. I went back there, to the grove, and someone was there. What do you mean? Look. This is a report. How many fighting men we have? Where Griff and the White Hill Garrison are being held? It even says what happened to Arthur Glenmore. I know. It's everything. I couldn't believe it. If I hadn't seen it with my own eyes... You said you saw someone. Who? Someone we trusted. Talia, I need to know who it was. He's like family, Roderick. But it doesn't matter. He's a traitor. He endangered our house. You have to deal with him like you would any other man. I'm sure he had his reasons. But no reason is good enough. It's your duty to tell me, and mine to pass judgment. Just promise me you'll kill him, Roderick. Anyone who would betray us like this deserves to die. I'm asking you as your sister. I'm lord of this house, Talia. It's my job to deliver justice, not vengeance. I can't promise to kill a man before I've heard him out. You know what he's done, that should be enough. Talia, please. Come with me. He's in the Great Hall. Get the guards. Hey, oh, my lord, you scared the bloody daylights out of. 
What's that? You tell me. You don't scare me, Roderick. I've known you since you were a boy. Back when you still had a spine. Start talking. Yes. I have been working with the White Hills. But only because you stopped listening to reason. Did I now? You pushed me to this, Roderick. You brought it upon yourself. You're blaming me for what you did. I'm telling you what you need to hear. I rose through the ranks because I knew when to ignore orders from men unfit to give them. Look at you, Roderick. You're weak. You're weak. Just like Ethan was. Making Duncan his sentinel. Ethan was a boy. Ethan was a fool. And you've been making fool choices too since the day you crawled off that corpse cart. Bungling your betrothal to Elena, which lost our most important ally. Letting Griff force you to the ground without a shred of dignity. Going to High Point without any soldiers, despite my every warning. Hell, you even managed to get Arthur killed. Enough, Roiland. You've had every opportunity to save this family, but you've squandered them all. Your father would be ashamed. Hate me for it, but it's the bloody truth. So you turn your cloak? That's your answer? I'm not gonna stand by and watch you destroy this family! You're driving House Forrester the way of the Starks. The only thing that matters is that you swore an oath to all I swore to your father. I'd swear to Asher if he were here. But you're a cripple who can barely hold a sword. Asher knows how to act. All you do is limp between defeats. Asher would cut your traitor heart out. Oh, I don't doubt it. He has more balls than you ever will. Roderick, it's Griff. He's gone. Somebody set him free. Was this your doing? They were going to ambush you at the trade. I just saved your life. But Ryan... Ryan... How could you? This was his doing! Just sentence me and be done with it. Kill me. And Asher dies too. <gasps> you did it. It was the right thing. What Roiland said. We have to warn Asher. We can't, not if he's at sea. The Lord, what do we do? Prepare the horses. We're gonna defend my brother. Smell that. We're almost there, Beska. Let's have a look. Come on, break it up! Save your love making for below deck. They listen to you. Barely. But what happens if your Lord Brother decides he's the one in charge once we're at Iron Rap? Do you expect them to follow his orders? Or will it be you commanding them? They don't know him. And Lord sounds an awful lot like a master. I'm just another sword. No different than any of you. Roderick is the rightful lord. Trust me, everyone will love him. They'll want to fight for him. Hey, if he's anything like you, well, we'll see. Hmm. That's odd. Port's quiet. No guards. Hardly any ships. Maybe they're all off fighting one of your king's wars. Could be. Or 
Could be we'll have a fight on our hands. I'll let the others know. Right. Oh, this couldn't be easy, could it? So, this is Westeros. Ugly and small. Fucking freezing, too. I said you'd be paid. I never said you'd be warm. Asher. Thank the gods you've made it back. You've looked better. We've no time for small talk, brother. Hope you're ready for a fight. Lord's got something planned. I don't know what yet, but it won't be good. Been stuck on a boat for weeks. Could use a good fight. What? since I killed any White Hills. I know what I'm doing. Iron from ice, brother. Iron from ice. Go! You bastard! Basica. You're fucking leaving me? What the fuck am I supposed to do? I came here for you! We're supposed to fight together, always! Sister, you're my family. As much as Roderick, as much as any of them. You asshole. Rip their fucking hearts out! <laughs> 